Hey friends, happy Wednesday. Welcome to Science Lab Wednesday with Miss Kate. Um, I know the last couple of Science Lab Wednesdays, Miss Jen has joined us and she is gonna actually join us tomorrow for something really super fun. Um, so I figured today I would still hop on and maybe do a little science experiment with you guys. So today we are gonna do something and this is something we totally would have done in school with jelly beans. Miss Kate has some jelly beans here. So I have a bunch of different colors of jelly beans and we are going to see what happens when we put them in some water. But before we do that, Miss Kate has Big Charlie! Check it out! I was able to get Big Charlie to help model for you guys. So here we go. Let's say hi. Hello. Hi! So this will help with this will help and I will do a lot of modeling once I start the experiment. Um, it's going to be right at the end of where we're doing the experiment, so you will see Big Charlie as we do this, which is awesome because modeling with our devices is great. I know some friends at home have their own devices, some friends have some core boards, and there are so many different words that we can find everywhere we go that I thought if I could get Big Charlie, how awesome would that be for you guys? So we have our words for life with us today. All right. Let's get started with some science, right? So Miss Kate is in our science station that we've used before. My hands are clean. We know we always start science by washing our hands and I did a good wash my hands. I sang happy birthday twice. And remember friends, when we're washing our hands, we really wanna get all parts of our hands. So we do this side, we wanna go get the back sides in between the fingers. You wanna make sure you get right in the thumbs around the wrist, there's lots of different spots on your hands when you wash that soap doesn't always get to. So that's just something to be in mind, mindful of as you're washing your hands now. So my hands are washed, my space is clean in front of us. I can show that to you guys real quick. There it is. There's our science lab space that we've been using. Um, again, Miss Kate's not really using a lot of space and that's fine. I don't need a lot of space for this fun science experiment. Um, and this science experiment is another one that really only needs a few ingredients, which is pretty cool uh, because they're things you might have at home. And if you want to do this along with me, if you want to watch it again and do it, if you just want to do it with your families later, that's awesome. Anything you want to do, if you just want to kind of soak in the language and watch what we're doing, that's great too. So the first thing we need are some plastic cups. Miss Kate actually took the plastic cups that we used with our dancing water experiment like three weeks ago and I cleaned them I washed them real good and I saved them because I thought you know what let's not put more plastic let's not put more plastic into the environment let's be as mindful as we can so just like Miss Kate recycles in the classroom and tries not to waste Miss Kate recycles at home and is trying not to waste so if you guys have new plastic cups, if you have glass cups, any kind of cups that you want to use, that's okay. Ms. Kate just chose these cups again because I can see what's happening. So we're going to put stuff in. Um, so we'll be able to see what's happening. And like I said, they are just cups that I did have at home. So you need about, Ms. Kate has seven. Um, a handful will do. If you have three, three is fine. We went based, I went based on the amount of different colored jelly beans I have because we're, that's the next ingredient that we need. Like I already showed you. So I have a bunch of jelly beans here. And now friends, remember, these are jelly beans that Miss Kate has been touching. And even though my hands are clean, we don't want to eat these jelly beans because there are still germs. Who knows where the germs are in the air and we want to make sure we're staying really safe. So these jelly beans here in my bowl are not for eating right now. These are just science jelly beans that I'm using. So if you love jelly beans, if you want some jelly beans, save some to the side before you start because once your hands start touching them, I really don't want you guys to eat those. So, so far we need cups. We need jelly beans. If you don't have jelly beans and you have something else at home, 
see, you don't want to eat this. It just bounced on our clean table, but you still don't want to eat this. Um, if you have like Skittles can be used, any sort of, this is a candy experiment. Um, and jelly beans are an Easter candy and it's spring and Easter's coming up this weekend. So that's why Miss Kate did choose jelly beans. And I also had them in my house. Um, if I had Skittles, I would use those too. Cause we all know Miss Kate really loves Skittles and Starburst. I actually don't eat jelly beans. So I thought, Hey, instead of decorating with my jelly beans, why not use them as an experiment? Um, the next thing we're going to need is some water. Miss Kate again has our about one cup of water. This is the measuring cup that I've been using quite a bit. It doesn't matter how much water. We're just going to pour a little bit over our jelly beans. Uh, but Miss Kate does also have backup water. So like I had last time, in case this isn't enough, I'm going to have some more on hand. And that's just because our science lab right now, my virtual science lab really isn't near my kitchen. I don't want to have to run and grab more water. So again, I have my measuring cup full of water. You guys can use whatever. You can use another cup, a measuring cup. Um, Miss Kate's water bottle is her backup. Whatever you have to put water in because we're not measuring today. And remember, friends, this is glass. So make sure you have parents help you. And if anything happens, make sure parents help clean up with your spills. I also, speaking of spills, have my trusty paper towels with me because I like to keep these in our science area because we do never know. And like we've seen many times in the classroom, Miss Kate makes a mess. And that's okay because making a mess is part of learning and part of having fun. So I keep my paper towels handy. All right. So what are we going to do today? Hmm. I have plastic cups. I have jelly beans and I have water. Uh, I think we are going to put stuff in. In. Hmm. That's a fun word. In. In. So out of my three ingredients that I have, or I guess they are, they're we would call them ingredients, <laughs> their needs, the three pieces of equipment that we need. I, what can I put in? Hmm. I don't think I want to put everything in my water right away. My jelly beans are in the bowl already. I don't think I, I don't want to put the cups in. That's not really a fun experiment. Hmm. I wonder we're going to put things in the cup. We are. All right. So we are going to put jelly beans in the cup. And in each cup, we're going to put the same color jelly bean. Miss Kate counted out enough for four jelly beans to go in each cup. And each cup is going to be the same color. So let's see. Red is the first jelly bean I picked up. So in this cup, I'm only going to put red jelly beans. So that'll be something that we do in a little bit. And then after the jelly bean is in all the cups, I'm gonna put some water on and we're gonna see what happens. Jelly beans are kind of interesting. They're kind of, they're, they have a hard candy shell on the outside, they're jelly on the inside, kind of like a mushy, interesting texture. Um, Miss Kate does not like jelly beans because of the texture. If you love them, that's awesome. I wish we were in school so I could give you some. But I'm going to stay away from them. And let's get started with this. I'm going to move the iPad a little bit. Hopefully you'll be able to see the lineup and Big Charlie. So bear with me for just a second. Okay, also got a new iPad stand. So it will stand up a little better than it did before, which is super cool because before it just kept falling on us. So hopefully we won't have anything fall on us today. It'd be pretty awesome. I'm going to just, as always, put this behind for security. Okay, perfect. So here's our space. So I have my device available to model. I have my space in front of me to work work laptops over there in case we get emails sorry all right 
So right here in front of me is where we're going to do our work. How cool. So the first thing Miss Kate is going to do is going to be to fill the cups with jelly beans. So I'm going to check out my colors. And the first color I'm going to pick red. is red. And I wonder if anyone remembers when Miss Kate said... How many? How many? How many? How many jelly beans are we going to put in each cup? Remember when we go to numbers, Miss Kate likes big numbers. Four. Four jelly beans are going to go in each cup. One, two, three, four. Just like that. So if my first color is red, I need to get four jelly beans and I am going to count as I put them in. One, two, three, four. So I have four. One, two, three, four. 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 Four inches. Oh, no. Oops, sorry, Miss Kate forgot a space. How silly. Four. 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 In. It. Four are in it. All right, and once I have four in it, I'm going to put them to the side. The next color, hmm, I wonder. What? What color? Orange. I grabbed an orange one. Orange. Orange. So I'm going to put in orange. Put in orange. Put in orange. And again, that's four orange. Put them out here. I think you can count with me. All right. I'm going to open up my big numbers again. I'm going to count to four as I put them in. One, two, three, four, four, four. All right. So Miss Kate put in four orange. Put. In. Four. Four. Orange. Put in four orange. Right there. All right. The next color I'm going to put in is yellow. What? What? Color. What color? Yellow. Yellow. I can say. It. Is. Yellow. It is yellow. It is yellow. And remember, when we put in, how many do we need? How many? Hmm. We need four. Four. In. Need four in. All right. So I'm going to open up my numbers. I'm going to put in. One, two, three, four, four, four. Put in four. Put in four. Put in four. All right. So we know right now we are doing the same, same number of jelly beans. So for my next color, which is going to be green. Green. Right there, I got some green. Oh dear me. Got a green jelly bean rolling around the science lab here. So I can say we, we need four. four. Green in. We need four green in. We need to put four green in. So I'm going to get our next cup. I'm going to go ahead and put four in. 
Here we go. One, two, three, four. Four are in. All right, so, so far we have four orange, four red, four yellow, four green. My next color, hmm, wonder. What color? What color is next? Next, what color next? Hmm, let's look. What color do you see? Look. Kind of hard to see, but it is purple. Purple. So I need to cut. Put in. In. How many? Four. 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 Purple. Cut in four purple. So I have my cup. Open up my numbers. And I'm going to go ahead and put them in. One, two, three, four. Four are in. Four. Four inches. Oh, Miss Kate forgot her space again. It's okay, I can do it again. Four. Four. In. Four in the cup. Four in the cup. Alright. I wonder what color. What color? Next. What color next? Ooh. It is pink. Pink! It is pink! So if we remember, how many does Miss Kate need to put in? Need. Four. Four. Pink. In. Need four pink in. All right, so there's my cup. And there we go. One. Two. Three. Four. Four. There they are. One, two, three, four. Four, four. In. Cup. Four in cup. All right. And my last color to put in. I wonder. What? Color. What color? Black jelly bean. It is black. It is black. All right. And what do we need to do? Put four, four in cup. Put four in cup. All right. I'm going to open up my numbers. One, two, three, four. All right. And there we have four. So, for all my jelly beans, I put four in. So I can say, put. Let me start it again. Put. Four, four, in. Cup, cut four in cup. And that's just what I did. I put four in each cup. So we have four red, we have four orange, four yellow, 
four green, four purple, four pink, and four black. So these are just the jelly bean colors that Miss Kate happened to have at home. If you only have one or two, that's fine. If you have more, that's fine. However you want to do it. So we took our cups. We put four in each cup. Is again. Put. In. Put in the cups. And now we are going to pour the water in the cups. Let's look at what that looks like here. Now I can say put. Put. Water. In. water in cups. Which is exactly what we're going to be doing. We can also go underneath turn and we can say pour. Pour. Water in cup. Pour water in cup. So we can say put water in cup, pour water in cup, we can say, put, put it in. Put it in. Put it in. Put in. Put in is another thing put we in. could say. We could just say, in. in. So there are many ways that we can use our modeling device to understand that we need to put water in the cup. So for right now, Miss Kate is going to pour water in. Pour water in. And I'm going to say cup so we know where I'm putting the water. Cup. Pour water in cup. All right. Let's see. I'll pull my cup back out. I'll do this one at a time again. So again, there's no exact measurement for this. Miss Kate's just gonna fill to about here, just so that they're definitely covered with maybe an inch extra. All right, I'm going to put in. All right, the water is in. And this is what it looks like. The jelly beans did not float. They stayed at the bottom. They're still red and the water is clear. So there's our red jelly beans. Next, I'm going to put in. Put the water in. Now, I would definitely recommend putting it in on the table. It's just a little bit harder for you guys to see when I do it that way. So there's my water in the orange. Next, I'm going to put water in. Put water in. There's the water in. Jelly beans are still in the bottom. The water's still clear. Interested to see what happens. What do you guys think's gonna think is going to happen? Is the water gonna turn the color of the jelly bean? Is the jelly bean gonna float, stay on the bottom? Hmm. All right. So for the green, I'm going to put water in. Put water in. 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 So the green water. Let's see, nice and clear water still. And the jelly beans are still on the bottom. Next, 
I have purple. So I'm going to put the water in. Water. In. Purple. Water is in. Next I have my pink. Put water in. There's the water and the pink. Right, my last is the black jelly beans. Uh oh. Hmm. I need more. I need more. 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 Water. Water. So I'm gonna take my backup water that I brought. Brought. I'm just gonna. Fill up a little bit more. All right, there we go. Now I have more. More. How cool. So now that I have more water, I can put it in. Put it in. Put it in. All right. That's the last one. So, I have all of my cups with four jelly beans in them. The jelly beans are still on the bottom. Ooh, see that? I wonder if something's going to happen. Hmm, interesting. When you moved it, when I moved it, something happened. So, I'm going to leave my jelly bean cups right there for now. And I do have one extra jelly bean here. And I was thinking maybe we could open so I could break it open. Open. In. Open in. Oops. Not open in. I'm going to open it. Cut. Oh my goodness. Big Charlie. Open. Open. Oh my goodness, friends, we have been away from school it. so long. Did you see that? Even Miss Kate forgets. So one more time, I'm going to open it. Open it. Open it. Maybe. There we go. Interesting. I don't know if you guys can see. Ooh, I can smell the black jelly bean. So the outside is a hard candy shell. Really interesting. And then inside that is like a gel, like a candy jelly consistency. The outside layer is the color of the jelly bean, and the inside is clear. Interesting. All right. So that was today's Science Lab Wednesday experiment. Miss Kate got some cups that she had around the house. I got some jelly beans. I got some water. I put them in. And I'm going to wait and see tomorrow morning what the jelly beans look like. What do you guys think? Are they still going to be just regular jelly beans sitting in water? Or do you think something's going to happen? I don't know. Take your best guess. All right, friends, I hope you enjoyed today's science experiment. I had a lot of fun doing a little seasonal holiday jelly bean activity, and I miss you guys a lot, so enjoy. Bye.